talking tablets. The tablet market is well established with the iPad's popula popularity without question, but can Apple hold on to its lead with Amazon's success, the Kindle Fire, Google's new Nexus 7 comes on the scene to compete in a whole new market. Here to fill us in on the smaller side of the tablets is our resident tech expert, Stephen Miano. Good morning. Good morning, and I'm excited to talk to you this morning because well, I'm good. really big in the tablets and Phone, this is a treat for me, yeah, because uh, this, this is kind of your, your world, and, and you're kind of an Apple girl. I am now. Yeah. I was a Droid girl, but now I am an Apple girl, and I have a tablet, but just looking at mine, which I thought was kind of small compared mm -hmm. to the iPad, they're getting even smaller. I mean, the Nexus 7. Yeah, the Nexus 7 is a 7-inch device. Wow. Um, Samsung has the, the Galaxy. They have a 7-inch yeah. device as well, and we all have heard of the Kindle Fire, right. which really blew on the scene as a a an affordable, feature-rich device, good for students, okay. good for people who maybe don't want to drop 700 bucks on a tablet. Definitely. Uh, so this is a, a, an interesting kind of sub-market within the tablet arena, and Google is really bringing the rain with this thing. And for $200, it's very feature-packed, uh, much more so than the Fire. So I think, yeah, Apple's really going to have to step it up with their rumors of the new iPad mini. Right, which rumors yeah. will probably come to light. Why is seven though? Why is seven inches? I mean, why go smaller with these things? Because well, you'd think you'd want bigger screens when it comes to stuff like this. Very true. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, one is, is price, honestly. Uh, seven inch screens are less expensive. They're less breakable. Gotcha. You know, all the new devices are using Gorilla Glass. So that's a big part of it. Okay. Uh, people who maybe don't want to have, don't have 700 bucks to, to drop on something like that. Mm -hmm. um, portability, battery life, it's bigger than a phone, so you have more screen real estate for your apps, especially for learning apps. You know, we've been talking about back to school and students and, and that sort of thing. Absolutely. Um, they make great ebook readers. I mean, dimensionally, this is about the size of a hardback novel. I was going to say, like a little book, you know, that kids yeah. may have in their backpack to read anyway. Exactly. You ditch the books and you can put about, you know, 10 books on that a bazillion. one. bazillion. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. one thing. So. Yeah, and that, that's a big part of the reason. Um, and battery life, again, you can get. They say nine or ten hours out wow. of the Nexus, okay. and based on our on our tests, that's very much very true. Accurate. Yeah, I think Chris cool. uh, yesterday at that computer store did zero work. He played with this all day. Uh, he was <laughs> testing it. He was it. testing. Yeah, it's all but, part um, of the job. but he, he got a good ten hours out of the device over the past couple of days. Well, cool. Now you mentioned price, which is a, a huge game changer for huge for the tablet market. Yeah, and yeah. you know Microsoft is getting ready to come out with the Surface. And rumors are surfacing, pun intended, <laughs> no pun intended. that um, the entry-level version of the Surface might actually compete in this price point and not the iPad price point. It's only a rumor right now, but this is becoming a more and more popular form factor because I can drop this in you know, the seat of my car, drop it in my laptop bag. It's small enough to be a good supplement for my laptop or desktop, not so big that it's going to replace those the, devices. Yeah, so does the Nexus 7 get your stamp of approval? You know, I really like this device, and I, you know, Google's taking over the world, and we all know that, um, you know, but <laughs> it is a good device. My one complaint is okay. it doesn't have mobile data. So, gotcha. like, if you're trying to entertain the kitties in the car, streaming movies and things like that, which the video quality is great, you can't, and mm -hmm. it's because of mobile data, and that's going to be my rant next week. I, I, I got beef with the, uh, oh, the smartphone industry. Oh, Miano's yeah. got beef. Well, thanks for talking tablets with us well, this morning. Yeah. Nexus 7 is out, folks. Good.